hey guys it's Liz welcome back to my channel today's video we're gonna be making a very popular dish in Kenya that is known as githeri uh, it's probably a dish that is made in many communities I don't know what other people call it but in Kenya we call it githeri and the main ingredient for this dish is corn and beans really you can't have githeri without these two we're also going to use bell peppers and I have the red ones and the green ones. I also have about uh, two or so, I think it's two uh, celery stalks and we are going to add carrots and potatoes. Here are some of the spices that I'm gonna be using, actually all the spices that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix them. There's no specific spice or spices for this dish. You can use whatever you like or whatever you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix, this is it, and I'll add it to the dish later. So our pan is preheated and I'm um, cooking with olive oil. You can use any oil, either solid or liquid, uh, doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and add the onions. Onions. And we are going to cook the onions for a little bit. Not all the way. And then uh, in just about a minute or so, we are going to add some garlic because of course I love a lot of garlic with my food. So here is the garlic. I'm using minced garlic for my food. You can use fresh garlic but mine is minced garlic. So mix it well with the onions. And we are going to leave this to cook a little bit more and then go ahead and add our potatoes and uh, hot peppers. Right, you guys, I just added the hot peppers, the green ones, and the potatoes. I am sorry, my camera stopped recording at some point, so you didn't get to see when I was adding, but all I added was the hot peppers and the potatoes. You do not have to add the hot peppers or the green, they're not green peppers, I don't know, nah, they're like jalapenos, I think there's a name for it but they are very 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 hot so you're gonna be careful so next i'm adding the carrots only because the carrots takes a little bit longer to cook uh, than the green peppers so my carrots and potatoes are going to cook together for the next uh, about 15 17 minutes before we add our bell peppers and celery So next we're going to add a little bit of water so that our food doesn't burn and we are going to mix this a little bit. So we are going to cook this on medium heat and let's cover it and we'll be right back in a few minutes. And here it is, it's all cooked as you can see for going through, there it is, ooh, you see that? That's what you don't want to happen, got to be careful, but as you can see, fully cooked, alright? So what we want to do at this point is go ahead and add our corn and beans or maize corn we call it maize all right the corn and the beans are the main ingredient of this dish cannot have the dairy without this too all right so gently 
mix everything you have to be very gentle with this because you do not want to mash your potatoes as you can see they are fully cooked so be very gentle all right Next, we are going to add our bell peppers and celery. I think I used about two celery stalks. And here we have green peppers. You can mix all sorts of uh, bell peppers, really. But I like a lot of greens and red for this dish. I did not use the yellow or the orange, but you can if you want to. All right, and then we are going to add our spices at this point. Again, add your own spices, whatever you like, whatever you have in your kitchen. There is no specific spices to go with this dish. So let's give it a good stir or mix everything up. So next we're gonna add a little bit of water and then what we're gonna do is after we mix it a little bit more is cover this and let it cook for a few more minutes. The last thing I'm going to add to our dish today is organic crushed tomatoes and this is it. You can uh, crush your own tomatoes at home, uh, you can puree them or you can just buy the organic ones uh, from the stores. And there it is and our food is ready, you'll see it on the other side when I serve it. And here it is, voila! Look how beautiful, colorful this is. This is how our food look like. Gonna taste it. And it tastes absolutely delicious, delicious, delicious. And um, yeah, that's it. That is the Githeri dish. I don't know if you cook this dish. I don't know what you call it. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with another video in about a week's time. Thank you. Bye.